What's the matter with you? I'll make it. A line from the movie Hoosiers, and we still remember it 30 years later. Visual images are powerful, no doubt, but equally important are the words that reveal the heart of the film. It's the screenwriter who envisions the plot, develops the characters, and gives the film its soul. Uh, Gene Hackman read it and loved it very much, and um, Carter Haven read it and loved it very much, and through about the last two or three years of, of uh, concerted effort, we have gotten to this point, and, and to me it's a thrill. It's an absolute thrill. Angelo Pizzo wrote the screenplay for Hoosiers. Recently visiting him at his Bloomington, Indiana home, he shared some fascinating reflections and candid insight into those movie moments Action. when talent and fate combined. Did you know Hoosiers was his first screenplay? I wasn't thinking about writing it myself and uh, because I wasn't a writer. I was a, a film executive and a producer. And uh, the notion of me writing it myself was out of my mind because I didn't want to go off and be in a room for six months. That's why I thought writing would be horrible. And I had this notion, having not found a writer for Hoosiers, um, that I would go and do some research for whoever that writer would be. And I went down to Milan and Versailles and started to go through the microfiche of the newspapers for for that 1953 and 54 season. As I was uh, driving back to Bloomington, I thought, well, maybe I'll try it myself. I'll try it. I didn't realize this was your first writing. Yes. Wow, uh, yeah. just a, what a coincidence. I was like 32 years old. Wow. When I, I first came up with this idea. So you knew the business, but you hit, didn't I knew know the, the writing I knew how business. to make yeah. movies, and yeah. that really helped me when, uh, in writing it. I, I, I knew what the pitfalls were. I knew production, I knew budget. Uh, and, and I knew what, what worked and didn't work by being in editing rooms mm -hmm. with films. Mm -hmm. for, uh, I supervised the production of, of probably, I don't know, 25 to 30 movies of the week or miniseries. That was my area. Okay, of, miniseries. Of, yes, yeah. miniseries. Those, yeah. those are the days. But Hoosiers was no miniseries. It was a labor of love. But the studio didn't love the first cut. It was nearly three hours long. Angelo made some cuts, still too long. How do you edit something which is so much a part of your soul? Chopping it down wasn't easy. Nothing was easy. We took 10 minutes out of the movie, and again, we, and they said, we will, we will consider a national release only if you do spectacularly well in Indiana. So David and I came back, and you, you, you were there then. Yeah, the opening. Da yes. Dave, well, David and I came back, People and we, we drove to every town and, and, and tried to promote this movie as much as possible, and basically saying, please show up the first weekend. It was, we opened Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Please show up the first four days, or we're not going to get a national release. The rest, as they say, is history. But this boomer doesn't just live in the past and reflect on his Hoosier glory days. Angelo's moved on and is even expanding on his creative talents. You just completed another movie, not only as a writer, but as a director. Mm -hmm. So you stepped outside your comfort zone a little bit. How about that? Yeah, if someone would ask me what I do for a living who has no doubt, I would actually describe myself as a filmmaker. We will not lose this game. Let's go out and do it! I learned all the different aspects of how to make a movie and the, the goal is the same, is to make the best movie possible and whatever skill sets you have, the, the best filmmakers are the ones who could really do it all. Life goes on, but sometimes it's nice to just reflect on a time when everything went so right and to praise the screenwriters. Without them, we'd have no movie magic memories.